Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. This Black Friday, Thunderstruck, absolute madness that is going on. EA has just changed everything inside of this game, guys. With the content, the players especially, I want to talk about it today. Teams are changing so much. I don't know anybody's team who is going to be the same before Black Friday to after with all the SBCs that we are getting, the packs that we are getting, and even like the objectives and the evolutions as well guys there is just so much content as always during black friday there's going to be a lot to cover today we have to talk about the market a lot today as well there were cards that exploded in price yesterday and cards that are still very low in value that still have potential to rise and other ones that are just done and dusted now at this stage of the year if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new let's cover everything from the top yesterday and start chronologically from the beginning the thunderstruck cards came out First, we had the full team in packs. Apart from the mini release, there was a, an addition of cards later on. But the team first came out into packs four hours before content yesterday, which was expected. And we saw that EA did a madness to each and every one of these cards, improving some playstyle pluses to better, more overpowered ones, and making cards like Bernardo Silva, who were usually unusable, making them very usable. Although he does have a very interesting pace split for this Bernardo Silva. But what a card. And once again, guys, to just remind you, these are live cards. Bernardo Silva and Manchester City play today. They played Liverpool early this morning. And if they win this game, Bernardo Silva goes to a 91 rated card. He will get an upgrade very soon if that happens. So, like, that's the very hype thing with these cards as well. And not to mention, guys, the icons, right? So many icons in packs. Some people were asking, like, Nate, is this a two-week promo? No, this is a one-week standalone promo. It's just EA is going crazy with how many cards are in packs. So even a card like Kaká with AC Milan, if they win a game, they he gets a plus one playstyle, and then if they win three, he gets the plus one upgrade. It's harder for the icons to get the upgrades, but you know they can still get them, which is freaking sick. So right away yesterday. Those cards dropped into packs. Straight off the bat, these guys were in packs. They were on the game. Let me just make sure that's working. It is. Um, they were on the game, right? Right now, as of right now, and I'm recording this, we have one extinct card, and that is Neymar. But a lot of the rest of the team is actually not that expensive. And honestly, guys, I'm going to say it, semi-packable. And I think, yes, it does have to do with just the sheer number of packs that they have put out during this weekend. Like, I get it. Some of these cards are still very expensive, but they're also not at the same time. Like, a Gabriel Jesus promo card that's 229,000 coins is not that bad. A Jolinton uh, Premier League midfielder is not bad. I mean, Bernardo Silva's now is 115,000 coins. There's a lot of really good value in this promo team, especially with the playstyle pluses they have put on these cards. This promo team right here is going to change the power curve of this game and make people want these cards, especially because they're going to get upgrades, and it's really going to start to put some other older cards in the mud. It's really transitioning the power curve a lot, especially with the SBCs like we've talked about. Um, I've, I've dropped already as well, and a lot of people are doing those. Um, it's really changing the market a lot. We're going to talk about that a little bit more too. But first of all, when the team dropped in packs right away, we had our first SBC of the day, Frankie De Young. EA started with a bang, a live De Young card with an insane boost, incredible stats, the potential to upgrade, of course, and Trevella playstyle plus, which I don't know if his base card has that, but that's kind of a sick playstyle to have. He's got a lot of the passing playstyles as well, which is great. He's even got finesse shot and press proven, which is great for the midfield. His one downside is he can only play one position, and that is center mid. But guys, also, I didn't point this out. The car design is an animated car design as well. Like, the lightning on the car lights up, and it's like legit thunder, and it's, it's sick, right? This promo, EA is checking off all the boxes for it to be an absolutely insane promo. A ton of people are doing this SBC. Center mids are down bad, and Barcelona links that are out of packs, like Inform Ter Stegen and the Koundé Trailblazer, they are up big because people are buying those to link to that De Young, which is a very, very popular SBC. So that's where we started at, right? So from there, the cards were in packs, people were opening packs, and the player price in these cards actually started to go down. Varane was a card that I bought yesterday and made coins off of. He's coming back down finally now, but let me just take you through how everything happened on the game yesterday on Friday. Cards started out expensive, right? People started opening their saved up packs when they saw the full team was in packs. There were lightning rounds, there were flash SBCs that were tradable. It was just Supply City, right? These cards went down, 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 down. And then around the content drop time, actually 
one hour before the content drop normal time. So 5 p.m. UK instead of 6 p.m., whatever your normal drop is, one hour before that, EA dropped an insane lightning round of those packs that are like five players that are 84 and above tradable and that destroyed this promo team like Veron was 800k or 700k he went down to like 620 uh alfonso davies went down a ton i remember bernardo silva was like one i think he was like 170k and he went down to like 140 150 it was crazy there was huge drops on all the icons and all these cards because of that lightning round that came out and then right around then as well you got into 6 p.m content time and the lightning round that they dropped there was not as good. So the supply started to dry up. And that is why you saw this crazy rebound. Varane went from 630. I sold him at 680 right here. Made good profit. Went and bought other cards. But he ended up going all the way to 900K. Same thing with cards like Alfonso Davies. I mean, Bernardo Silva, before the crazy Evo was dropped, went from 140K to like 180. He went back down. Gabriel Jesus was 180. I bought one there, sold it at 190 something. He went all the way to 250. Crazy rises on so many of these cards, especially the icons. Yesterday, one of my biggest flips was I bought Cafu for a million coins and sold him an hour later for 1.27. And now he's 1.4, right? The market rises yesterday were absolutely crazy because again i want to say this and we're going to talk about it as people are opening all these packs in the store the lightning rounds and everything that's going on you also are having a ton of coins that are hitting the market people have more coins now than they have in the past while because we have so many lightning round packs which just brings a lot of coins yes there's a lot of SBCs that can drain coins but we have so many coins in people's accounts now from all the packs that are being opened and we have new and fresh demand on the game because people are getting the game for the first time, buying packs in the store and all that sort of thing. So that was kind of the craziness of like right around the content drop time yesterday was EA dropped insane lightning rounds, dropped the Thunderstruck cards. They went very low and then they exploded. I think they will drop back down to the prices or lower than what they were. Maybe some of the icons won't like Kaka was 1.3 mil and now he's 1.6, right? Or Edwin Vanderstar was 500k. Cantona was 1.8. Some of those icons may not get down to where they were, but I think a lot of the Thunderstruck cards can still get to the prices that they were during that crazy time. It's just going to happen later on this weekend. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I don't think those cards are must buys just yet. I think we need to wait to invest in any of the Thunderstruck cards right now. But also when EA was doing all that madness with the lightning rounds one hour before content, the 85 double, 84 double, and the 85 plus player pick all dropped which are insane upgrade SBCs. i think personally i like the 85 double the best i tried 185 plus player pick didn't get anything good but this is another set of SBCs that people are going to be doing every single day for the next three to four days in this game as you can see they're out for another three days along with like the 83 times 10. this is another reason guys where i know fodder is still kind of low i'm thinking about buying more fodder myself but also i believe in the rise of fodder still 100% because we have more SBCs to come, big ones at that. And also everybody has opened their packs. A lot of the supply has already passed. If you think about it this way, let's just have a fodder conversation right now, right? I know it's one of the biggest things at the moment. A lot of the people opening up their packs, save packs, that's gone. Our supply has kind of hit. We've weathered the storm, right? If you think about it, the fact that all those packs were open yesterday and 85s are still 6.5, 86s are still 10, 11K, 88s are 24,000 coins. They're up. They were 22. 89s are 37. Like, it's not bad. It is great that fodder prices are going up this much. That means there's tons of demand for the SBCs. And that means better things for our fodder later on during the week. Even if our fodder, like let's say it's middle of low tier, hasn't gone up that much yet still means great things for the rises later on because there's so many SPCs that are out and people are doing them. So believe in the fodder, right? Trust me, believe. I'm thinking about if there's any more late night lightning rounds on maybe it's or early morning lightning rounds today on Saturday. I'm watching the market really closely tonight on, on Friday night into Saturday. If they drop any of the global limit packs, like they have this deluxe 86 plus, which is not the one that killed the market earlier. But if they drop any of the other really insane ones, I'm going to be interested, right? I'm going to get on some fodder bids because this might be one of the last chances for this next week before that stuff really starts to trickle up in value. So that's kind of the fodder discussion right now, where things are at with that side of the market. But once again, for the store packs, guys, like look at what EA is doing in here. Like that pack, like just graphic is 
insane. Uh, like the Thunderstruck stuff they're doing in here with the heroes and the icons, right? They dropped a 450k Thunderstruck Elite Pack. 35% chance of packing a Thunderstruck player. The pack weight for this team, promo team is, is not that bad, guys. And I think that's also why you're seeing the prices in this promo team where you are is because this promo team is is pretty supplied, man. Like, it's actually really solid value. So I think that's going to continue going through the weekend. Again, the brunt of our pack supply was yesterday. There's still going to be a lot, but there's not going to be as much. So back to business. Let's look at what happened after that, right? We had 6 p.m. content coming right after all the craziness an hour before. And at 6 p.m., they dropped the Dog Leash SBC. 6 p.m. was actually a little bit dead. We're like, wait, what? We waited for this. And that's part of why the market really rebounded as much as it did. But the Dog Leash SBC, it's right now a lot of people are decided between do I want to do Dog Leash or do I want to do Mbappe? That's the big question right now for an expensive SBC to try to grind towards and craft towards. Dog Leash is 2.1 mil. He kept the finesse plus. He's got great uh, play styles apart from that. Five star weak foot, insane stats. If you need a through and through striker and you want to run that in your team for a long time, that could potentially get upgrades. Dog Leash is a great card. If he was on the market, do I think he'd be 2.1 mil? I actually think he'd be a little bit cheaper than that. With Kakabi and 1.6, Gerd Muller is like 1.5 or 6 mil as well. He's 1.6 right now. I think he would actually be a little bit cheaper than two mil. That's my take. I think he's a little overpriced. So with that being said, I went for the Mbappe, guys. I started crafting Mbappe yesterday, as I said that I would. Got all the 89s done. One 88 rated squad, and then I tried to chip away at an 87 and an 85. I'm going to have to start collecting informs. I don't plan to get this SPC done at least for a couple of weeks, but I'm going to start chipping away at it, using the season rewards packs and everything from high rated packs that I get during this promo, I'm probably not going to do DeYoung, not going to do Dog Leash, and not do many of the Icon packs as well that are probably going to continue to come out because I'm going to focus on that Mbappe card. But also at 6 p.m. content, uh, we had a objective. I don't want to sleep on this because there's actually something really important in here. If you're going to play the game every day this weekend, this is EA trying to get you to play the game every day during the next week, really. There's a daily play games. If you play five games a day for the next five days, or you'd really just have to do it five times out of the seven days, you can get the daily play completionist objective done, which actually you can do seven times and you have to do seven times to get the full reward. You get a 100K pack for doing this and a 50K pack on day seven. So it's kind of worth the grind if you're gonna play this game anyway. Um, maybe just throw on a squad battles game. It, it counts for any game mode, I do believe. Uh, Let's see, daily play games, play any yeah, any game mode, right? You get a player pick, get some other small packs, and then it's really about building up this objective. So if you're gonna grind, that's gonna be nice. And then also they dropped a Ruben Loftus-Cheek, four star, four star, it's a good card. And actually he fits into one of the surprise evolutions that we had dropped on the game yesterday as well, which was a massive, massive surprise. And we'll talk about that in just a second, but that was kind of the 6 p.m. content. Now, after that, as we've said, and as you guys know, the content keeps dropping like every single hour almost, especially on Friday. It was crazy. It's probably going to slow down a little bit today on Saturday, but it was going crazy yesterday on Friday. We had the mixed campaign player pick, which technically was a compensation situation. If you uh, were somebody who switched their nationality over to, uh, I think it was Spanish. If you switch to Spanish, um, I guess not nationality, just the text and the language on your game. This pick was glitched. I don't know that it is anymore. And it was a compensation situation because um, it said that it was giving out cards from the current promo team when it actually is not. It's giving out triple threat, um, triple threat cards. Let's see, what are the, what are the five? Or there's four promos that are included in this. Centurions, Road to the Knockouts, Trailblazers, or triple threat is in this pack in this pick. And I'm gonna do one right now. Yeah, I'm wasting a few 85s for Mbappe, but it's okay. For the video, we'll do a mixed campaign player pick. It's again, it's a full sin weekend, right? You saw the Twitter pep talk yesterday. We sent it. Uh, let's see what we get here. EA Sports hook us up. Tiago Pedro Correa. Um cooked. I'm gonna go Tiago, 87 rated. By the way, that card got destroyed yesterday. Absolutely destroyed. He went from 100 k down to 37,000 coins, probably going to rebound a bit, but that SPC dropped uh, in the, the random hours after content yesterday. And then randomly as well, if you guys made coins yesterday, you might have made them with Virgil van Dyke's gold card because this dude went from 170,000 coins out of packs because his inform is in packs. He went all the way down to 98K. 
because EA dropped a welcome backpack or something like that to like everybody who was logging into the game at a certain time and it gave out a 99 match loan VVD and VVD got destroyed for about 10 to 15 minutes. He was like 99,000 coins. And then I think EA either stopped putting that pack out because a lot of people said they didn't get it or something else happened and VVD shot right back up in value to 120K. He's now 150,000 coins. There was big time coin potential there on the market as well. And then around that same time, we had our first flash player SBC and a flash player SBC that you might want to get done Alan St. Maximin flashback, the first flashback of the promo. Five star skills, four star Wii foot. The card itself doesn't look that amazing, but you know that ASM plays just above that in game. And at least it's very cheap. It's an 83, 84 year squad. So, so cheap to do. It's a very fun card. A lot of your Saudi links like Benzema Inform are continuing to go higher in the market because of that one. But that's probably the SBC that a lot of people have done just because it's so cheap, but it's only available for 24 hours. So make sure you get that done because it's very easy and it is going to go away here very soon. Now let's talk about evolutions because guys, we have a lot of news related to evolutions. We had a surprise evolution yesterday, toughen up, which is basically giving a player a nice pace boost, but a huge passing and dribbling boost. And EA, they say here, increased physical stats and press proven. Plus two physical, but you get plus eight passing. The biggest player that everybody is doing in this evolution right now is this guy, Bernardo Silva. So we got a promo card yesterday with 80 pace. So he can also be evoed to be a 90 rated Bernardo Silva, which is a plus 10 pace upgrade, having 94 passing and 95 dribbling, which is almost better than his card that is in packs, which is crazy. I mean, it's way better passing than his card that is in packs. 72 defense and 71 physical on, on the card in packs. And the one in the evolution has got less defense and physical, but it's got better passing and dribbling, right? That is a crazy scenario that's going on in this game right now. And that's also why you see this Bernardo Silva down a lot from where he was. A lot of people are doing this Silva. Also, people are doing Conte. Very, very popular choice in this evolution as well. And the best part about this Evo is all you have to do is play two games. Two games for this big of an upgrade. It's absolutely mental. There's no rating cap on it. So what I would tell you to do, guys, is it looks like one that you should do right away because it's so easy to do and so sick. I'm going to wait on this because there's no player cap, right? It's all the stats over here on the side, like max 70 pace between 60 and 89 shooting, max 87 passing. Um, you can boost the guy. Wait, if you can get a plus eight physical boost, you can get somebody to 95 passing with this uh, Evo. Absolutely nuts. I would wait if I were you to actually decide who you want to put in that Evo because I think there might be other options later on down the next couple of weeks with other promos that we get. It would be very, very popular. But like I said, right now, you can make Conte, basically get Conte's inform for two games. Um, if you do the toughen up objective off his gold card, you get that nice pace boost. You get the insane passing boost. And it feels like a Conte card of old, right? The OG Conte, of course. So that's why his inform is getting destroyed because Conte's inform has even way less pace than that, less passing, and only one more defense. So his inform is down bad and his gold card is up big. Those are the two most popular cards. Also, Loftus Cheek, Trippier is a very uh, popular one as well that can go in the toughen up evolution. And guys, we're not done with Evos as well. Um, Foot Sheriff tweeted out that we are going to have four different Evos coming during the Thunderstruck promo, one of which we just saw as a surprise there. We just had another leak of a center back evolution requirement that is going to be max overall 82, max pace 72, and then defense physicality both 82. This feels like another insane pace boost to a center back type of situation. If they're going to say 72 pace, it better be easy and it better be nice because I mean, with an evolution like this one that they just dropped, like anything else that is an L is going to be received as an L. There's also another evolution striker, I believe, that is like max 84 rated with like some pretty nice evolutions are coming, guys. It just depends on how big of a boost that they can be and how much work that it takes to actually end up to go and get those cards. So that's kind of the evolution situation right now. And they could be like Foot Sheriff said in that leak, it sounds like these evolutions could somehow be flash evolutions. I'm not entirely sure how that would work um, because of course we do have the toughen up and it says 20 days to get it done. But imagine an evolution that you would have to unlock within 24 hours, kind of like they gave us 24 hours to do the ASM. I think that's something that is possible. So as long as you unlock it, you're good, but that would create a big frenzy 
for an Evo potentially coming as well. And of course, as I'm making this video with you guys, content is still dropping like almost every hour or every other hour. So things may have changed, right? We just recently had the Black Friday Flash Challenge 10. The, usually the, the Flash SBCs in the nighttime, the later hours, they slow down a little bit. Every couple hours, they'll do one instead of, you know, every hour or something like that. And same thing with the lightning rounds. Like just in the past 20 minutes before I started recording this video, they did a new lightning round, which is 176,000 packs left. But then they also started dropping some packs kind of like overnight. Um, also, I believe the 30 coin pack and the 10 coin pack both refresh like every six to eight hours. Those packs are insane Ws as well. Make sure you check the store for those every day. And especially on like the companion app, make sure you're going and checking those. So, you know, the SBCs are dropping randomly too. So maybe stay tuned to Foot Scoreboard on Twitter because they post whenever SBCs go live. So stay tuned to that. That's a very helpful Twitter account that can help you stay on top of the content that's dropping every single hour. Now we talked about fodder a little bit as well. I still have a lot of my fodder that is on my transfer list that I have purely bought to sell. I had a couple of lazy sales yesterday. I sold a Bernardo Silva. Of course, he is out of packs at 35,000 coins. Sold a couple of 85s for nice lazies as well. And I'm just, I'm just relisting this stuff, man. Like I'm just going in here and relisting a couple of the promo cards that I have, the Malins that are live. It's still like a 20K card. It's a great price. And then a lot of my 88s, 89s that I am listing in terms of fodder, you can see right here, 85s as well. I'm still listing up a lot of this because I need to make some coins off of this whole fodder situation. I don't want to use it all on Mbappe. I might end up using it all on Mbappe. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, guys, I would even be interested in, depending on how low fodder goes, I would be interested in buying it again, like I mentioned, Today on Saturday, if it's low enough, like 89s continue to fluctuate so good because they're in such high demand for guys like Dalglish, for SBCs like the Mbappe player of the month as well. I like the high tier because they've shown good fluctuations, but I also like the low tier. Like look, 38 down to 34, 35, and now we're back up to 37, 38,000 coins to these 89s. There's gonna be more fluctuations on fodder. And for the low tier, the supply is gonna slowly dry up and 85s at like 6k was absolutely insane 84s at 3k is nuts too i do believe those are going to continue to go up we have other SBCs guys that have been leaked canyon lee is coming as a thunderstruck SBC soon um i mean we just had a, an inform for him that a lot of people evoed but you know that's a decent card that people would be interested in as a thunderstruck live card for psg and then still right we've seen the alan st maximum we've seen mbappe and de young we haven't got Depay yet. We haven't got Kuti Romero. We haven't got Oscar the flashback yet. We still have an Icon SBC coming for Balak as well. So there are a lot more SBCs coming. And again, guys, as I'm mentioning this for fodder, we have an Icon pack right now. There was a leak that was rolling around that was saying that we were going to get yet another Icon pack SBC um, this weekend that was going to actually be a no rating cap icon SBC. So I'm not entirely sure if that's 100% true or not, um, but watch out for that for sure because a lot of these SBCs, like, man, people are going to want to do them because they are insane SBC. So definitely watch out for that. Um, other things in terms of news on this game, a lot of the out of, like the market, let's keep talking about the market, honestly. Let's keep going there. The market is just like, it's crazy at the moment, right? We talked about how the cards in packs moved yesterday. A lot of like your some some of your meta gold cards had some pretty crazy movements as well. Some stuff is up. I'll say it. Some things are up, and maybe their lowest price was during that panic sell last week. Like Vinny out of packs, six twenty. His new promo card is super duper expensive. I don't love buying cards like that that are out of packs and that are inflated because another thing that again I'm gonna say, guys, is with these cards that are coming into this game with this promo team and all the SBCs and all this stuff, like the power curve is kind of moving up. If a card is still expensive from an older promo team and, and it's not a live card, like I would be very careful. Like I know that there's a lot of coins on the market right now and that a lot of player prices could continue to rise, but I'm also wanting, I would want you to be very careful with maybe some other cards. Like a really good example is Graham Hansen, right? She is in packs but her, her card price continues to fluctuate. She went from 1.7 mil, that was kind of her low point yesterday, all the way up to about 1.9. And people were like, oh my goodness, did I miss the boat on Hanson? No, you didn't, she's still in packs, right? She's down to 1.7 mil once again. She's probably gonna go lower during the weekend. But if it's a card that is out of packs that you really, really wanna get for your team, 
with the amount of coins that are on the market right now and with the amount of hype that is there you know for a guy like this kunde i would be 534k he was at 600,000 coins right that was a crazy price for him but he was at 600k just because um of the new sbc like these sorts of cards are probably not going to go down too much unless we do get an insane evo an insane sbc like an icon upgrade pack that would create a lot of panic like it's that sort of sbc that could create one last gasp of panic maybe for somebody who's out of packs like a vinny um or gold hansen that could drop and then continue to go up after this week but i really do believe guys that if you want something for your team especially if it's an out of packs meta card or maybe it's even in the, like the mini release or not the mini release but it's in re-released as like best of if there's something that you really really want for your team that is again like a, a very meta card i think you got to pick it up this weekend like ferlin mendy was a 1.1 million coin left back i'm trying to find his price right now i'm flipping i know he's in packs he was like i think it was 800k yeah, he's 858,000 coins, but like if a card like this keeps going down throughout its time in packs, that is the best like that's that's a Real Madrid for Mendy. You know how he always is every single year. That's a card that you can feel pretty safe in probably investing in this weekend because even though with the extra supply being on the game, it's still in a league of its own on uh in terms of a French left back Musiala down absolutely incredible amounts. Like that's the other part of the craziness of this market is player prices are getting destroyed and they're going up at the same time it's just a madness of the wild wild west type of feeling on this game at the moment and it's going to it's going to continue to be that way over the weekend because the content is going to keep rolling out the content is going to continue to be crazy and again guys that's that's what i would say for for you guys that are wanting to buy teams continue to monitor the market know that these new cards are cards that people are going to want to get in their teams and follow because they're live and they're insane but also at the same time like there's still old cards out of packs that will rise up a lot because again a lot of coins are on this market and um let's talk about today's content as well of course we're still getting flash sbcs i think did we just get a new one let me check the sbc section i think that flash sbc that we looked at was not expiring for a long time though yeah it's an hour and 58 minutes so we won't be getting a new one for a while you can kind of know when the next flash sbc is by the timer of the most recent one that came out so keep an eye on that uh but saturday content today all those sbcs that we looked at that were leaked like the kuti romero and the Balak and stuff like that those are sbcs that could absolutely be dropping today on this game we're gonna get more of those and then of course the refreshes of all the upgrade packs like i've done my 83 times 10 i'm sure you have too or the 84 times uh the 85 times 2 the 84 uh, 5 times 2, 84 times 2, 85 times 2. Informs, man. Like, keep a watch on these. I bought an inform yesterday at, what did I pay? I paid 40K. And now they're even lower. 37,000 coins for informs. If the informs get really, really low in the late night hours or early today on Saturday, before, like, a lot of the game gets on today, is you're waking up, checking the market. Watch this space because these cards were all like almost 50K yesterday for some of them. Watch the higher rated ones for, for sure as well. You could get on some bids, get on some snipes for informs because there might be opportunities, especially if EA runs some late night lightning rounds because people don't have informs and they're packing them every once in a while, but they're not everywhere. So make sure you watch that side of the market today on this game as well because there's going to be a lot of refreshing. There's going to be a lot of content that people will be coming in here and doing via the SB today. And uh, again, guys, watch for the games. Like if if manchester city today or it would probably help more for an underdog situation but people are going to get excited for cards that have games today like man city we just mentioned with bernardo silva i know that we've got the evo for bernardo silva that's hurting this card's price right now and he's like 115 120k on the market but let's say city win today bro's getting a plus one so that's pretty big or you know let's say i don't know who else is playing today i haven't checked the schedule and i'm loading it up right now but you know, um, let's see. Chelsea play today. I think there's a live card for Chelsea. Arsenal play today. So you've got uh, the upgrade potential for Gabriel Jesus. Who's the live card for Chelsea? I was thought I just saw one. Maybe there's not one for Chelsea and I'm bugging. Maybe I'm just bugging. Okay. We had a lot of Chelsea cards recently. So, but you know, even for the icons, right? Like depending on who Balak is when he, when he gets dropped, you know, keep an eye on that sort of thing the games count as of yesterday so even if a team like if a card's not released yet but a team has a game today and they're not out yet the game that would be played today counts because even though their card is not out yet it still counts for the potential upgrade so 
honestly, guys, the market's gonna continue to be a wild place. It's gonna be a place that if you time things right, and you time the fluctuations right, you can make a lot of good coins. But really, we're waiting for a couple more big SPCs like an Icon Pack or something else to really shake things up on this game and cause a little bit more panic and make people sell some more cards to do an SPC before we can really say, okay, this is like, especially for the cards in packs and maybe for like some out of packs like pro live cards. I know a lot of people really wanna really wanna buy the pro live cards and, and invest in these. And especially now that we have a new promo of live cards, the focus has kind of shifted off of these and some of them have dropped. You gotta watch these guys, man. Like there will be, Calvin Phillips is 100K. He was like 170 a couple days ago, right? There are big drops there. There will be opportunities for these cards to rise. And if you still have gold cards that you're wanting to buy for your team, be careful. Militao, 16K. Valverde is 113,000 coins. Usman, any of the gold cards, like the top cards that have dropped prices on the market are golds, which is why we were saying before this promo, get your golds out. Don't look to buy them anytime soon. They are going to get just destroyed. And they are. They're probably going to continue to drop further over the weekend because people are moving from these gold cards into the new special promo versions that look so much cooler and have potential upgrades. So why wouldn't you move into those? So that's gonna be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know in the comments who you have packed yet. I've only packed one promo card and it was Tierney. So I gotta keep ripping the 8310s and the 845s to at least give myself a chance at something good. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate Wood Count. See you guys there. Peace out.